What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Vinyl Pickup video. This one will be number 17 and I got five different records I want to share with you guys today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now first up, we got Rock Marciano's Mount Marcy. Now if you are following me on Instagram, you probably already saw me post this one up. If you are not, definitely check the description down below for that link. But this album was actually one of my top albums from last year. I did give this one my number three spot. Just beneath Blue and Exiles, Miles, and Cause, Descends of Kane. But this one is still just as dope as when I first heard it. Really glad I finally do have it in my collection now. I waited a pretty long time for this one. As most of us know, the whole vinyl industry right now is pretty jacked up. Everything's taking a long time to get to us. But nonetheless, it's here. Now, like I did say, this was one of my top albums from last year. And this one still sounds just as great. If not actually a little bit better since I haven't heard this one in a while. Now, this one is a double LP. We got two very nice looking records on top of that gorgeous album art i really do love the whole packaging on here album art is very important to me now uh, of, of course i do buy it for the music but you know i would like the entire packaging to match how great the whole entire album sounds but that is my first pickup rock marciano's mount marcy if you haven't heard this one definitely give it a listen now next up is another rock marciano piece with greenberg we got rock marciano of course with the alchemist and oh no now this record is pretty dope because it's actually a picture disc which i don't have any in my collection and I've actually never even held one in my hands before. I've never seen one in person and it's pretty cool. It actually does look really dope. But of course, like I said earlier, we buy these records because the music is dope and this one is definitely on point. Like I said, Rock Marciano, The Alchemist, and Oh No. In case you didn't actually know, whenever you do see The Alchemist and Oh No, they are coming together as Gang Green. Now, as far as this EP goes, I forget exactly who took care of what song. I'm, I'm pretty sure Rock Marciano took care of a couple songs, and then obviously Gang Green took care of whatever they did. I forget who did which track, but this is definitely something that is worth your time. There's a lot of really great tracks in here. Sewer Gravy is actually one of my favorite tracks on this one. Definitely check that song out. And obviously the whole album, if you haven't heard it, Gang Green with Rock Marciano on Greenberg. Now, next up, yet again, another Rock Marciano piece. This is the last one, I swear. But we do have the prequel, a really nice EP here from Rock Marciano. I forget the year when it came out, like somewhere around 20, uh, 2018, 19, somewhere over there. But this one is definitely on point as well. In typical Rock Marciano fashion, he took care of pretty much everything outside of one track on here. I forget the song, but Just Blaze is on here and he did take care of one of the songs. But this one is another easy EP to get through, but still very enjoyable. I forget the name of the last track on here, but that one is definitely on point. I mean, really the whole thing is, is on point, but actually the last track is one of my favorites on here. Really is dope. And of course, this one comes in a very nice looking solid red record. Always is appreciated when they add these little details on the whole packaging. Definitely is dope. Rock Marciano coming in yet again and for the last time with the prequel. Definitely check this one out, guys. Next up, J Electronica, A Written Testimony. This one again was one of my top albums from last year. I believe this one dropped early, like January, maybe February. I forget the exact date, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it was early last year. And I actually did forget that I did set a pre-order for this one. It finally came in the mail a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a month ago. Like I said earlier, the whole vinyl industry thing is just all jacked up. Everything's taking a very long time, but still grateful that I did finally get this one in the mail. Now, personally, I still really like this album. I do still think it's very good and definitely for me, one of the best albums from last year. I know that there is a lot of mixed opinions on this one. Some say, you know, too much Jay-Z on this one. Some say it wasn't worth the wait. Some are just disappointed, period. You know, I still like it. I, I do understand all the all the criticisms, though. I will say 10 years is a pretty long time. But regardless, you know, the album is out. It's been out for a while now. And I'm happy that I do have it in my collection because I really do like it. And of course, like I said earlier, I do appreciate when the artist puts just as much time into the packaging as the music. And I definitely do like the packaging on here. I do love the album art. Of course, the all white record all looks dope. If you haven't heard this album, definitely give it a shot. All right, my bad guys, but I did forget to show off the record, so here it is. And finally, we got Quasimodo, The Unseen. I believe some people call this the fun side of Madlib. 
either way i'm pretty sure this is an album that a lot of you guys have heard and definitely enjoy just as much as me now i did cop this one straight through stone's throw and i was very happy that i did get it this is the 20th anniversary or i guess you know technically the 21st uh, due to when they did release it but it was intended for the 20th anniversary but obviously last year a whole bunch of madness happened so it got pushed up and now it's here but this is definitely a staple album for any rap fan to have and finally i do have it in my collection i do also have yes or whatever i don't have the other one uh the the, uh, the further adventures of i forget the full title but uh, i don't have that one eventually i will but for now i do get to enjoy this one and of course that vinyl it does come in two separate lps that cadillac pink and of course that purple so there you guys have it that's all i got for this one my entire collection is actually really growing i'm almost at 200 records once i do hit that mark i will be doing a complete collection video i just gotta figure out how exactly i'm gonna record that but in due time but for now guys i appreciate y'all for watching the video make sure you do thumbs it up subscribe if you're new and i will see you all in the next one